Hello, good morning, and welcome. I found something really, really cute in this book that I bought. <clears throat> the Romanian Geometry, a Beginner's Guide by Frank Morgan, Professor Frank the Morgan. Uh, it's it's just so it's just so much fun. I had to share it with you. Okay, so let's go down to where it starts. I think it's right in here somewhere. Okay, uh, the professor was contacted here. One day I got a call from a company constructing a huge smokestack, which required the attachment of a spiraling strip or a strake for structural support. And they wanted to know what was the best way to make that because they had to make it out of flat in the metal, but it had to spiral around the, the smokestack. So they were looking for what this radius, this bend would be. It would look like this. So this, this, this thing is enormous. And this is the strake that goes around it as a helix. And so here's the information he was given. There is a... Uh, they gave him the, the radius, and they determined that the height of one helix would be 31 and a half the feet. So they wanted him to do the calculation to try to understand what this, the best, the curvature of this would be so they could, could spiral it around and weld it. <laughs> so he, being a professor of differential geometry, of course, knew how to do this. I don't. I'm just starting this. It's a lot of fun, by the way. And uh, so he did the calculations, and he knew it was a he helix, so he had the equation of a helix. He had his constants here. Here's the other one, right? So he did this work, and so he was calculating what would be the speed of the spiral around it as it went up okay now here's the interesting part by analogy of the circle engineer guessed that the best intercutting radius r would be l equals 2 pi which would be about 6.3 feet and then he built a small model however we discovered this guess was too small after some trial and error he found that straight pieces cut with a r of about ten and a half feet fit well. Fit well. Okay, this is this is the interesting part here. Okay, the professor continues to go on. He uses the tangent, the the vector, the method. I'm just learning about this, so I'm I'm not going to explain it because I don't I don't yet fully understand it. Okay. Uh, he does his calculation for curvature and he gets ten point four five feet. <laughs> the engineer by experimentation got 10.5 feet this is why i love engineers do you know why they get stuff done i just love them all right see you later